Stephanie Randall at Bear Creek High School in Lakewood. Eddie is at this month's Cool School. Hey, Eddie. Good morning. Yeah, we are at Bear Creek High. It is super, super early this morning, but look how many kids we have out here. Sorry, don't want to call them kids. They're students because a lot of them are seniors about to go to college. Matt Zakara, baseball player here with me right now. He's going to tell us in his own quick words, why is Bear Creek High so cool? You know, when everyone comes out the womb, they're just yeah. bleeding green and gold every time. Great <laughs> spirit in this school. Awesome, awesome. His fellow baseball players are over here kind of laughing at him right now. But, you know, we're out here. We're going to be out here throughout the morning. You guys can hear me. Can you guys cheer about why Bear Creek is so cool? Let me hear you guys. <laughs> Best assignment. Best assignment. Best assignment today. 9 News reporter Eddie Randall is live at Bear Creek High School in Lakewood. Eddie, you having fun there yet? Uh, so much fun. Look at how much fun these kids are having. They're up super early this morning. I'm going to talk to another student, Megan McGriff, volleyball, lacrosse, all the sports that I played. I'm just kidding. But kind of tell me exactly why do you think the school is so cool? Um, I think you get a lot of support in each sport. Like you have a huge crowd always cheering you on and it's a lot of fun to play for and cheer for. So it's a really good um, community in that. How'd they get you kids to get up this early? Tell me the truth. Um, just excited to be here, cheer on the school, really, and free breakfast burritos, but mainly cheering on the school. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, thank you, Megan, and we're going to be out here all morning long. We're going to be talking to the staff, talking to the students, showing you why this school is so cool, but we're going to let them show you right now. You guys, let me hear you. And then go to Minus the zero. Five. Finding solutions to make a difference. 4.52, is it 6.0? Is what inspires Emily Chambers. We're trying to find our lung capacity to compare it with our patient, um, Melissa, who she suffers from asthma. And we're trying to compare our lung capacity to hers. That is like really low. She's a sophomore at Bear Creek High School in Lakewood and is in her second year of taking biomedical classes. Yeah, I want to become a pharmacist when I grow up. It is helping me like learn more about the human body and solutions that I never thought of before. It's also cool because it sets them up for careers in the health industry and so having something that they can do in high school to get themselves ready for college or for a health profession after high school is really cool for them to be able to experience. The curriculum is part of Project Lead the Way, a program that partners public schools, higher education, and businesses to get more students interested about careers in science, technology, engineering, and math. Within you know medical industries, we're looking at shortages all over the place, and we need everything from those CNAs to those doctors. Education can't only be confined to the walls of a classroom. And so the, the more community connections with businesses and community agencies and organizations that our kids can get exposure to so that they get that real world experience and application, I mean, that's absolutely critical. That sounds really low for your title. The school started its biomed program back in 2011, the first of its kind in the Jefferson County School District, where students are also mentored by area health professionals. This pushes to get kids to do things that are valid and real and things that they will see when they get out there and have them start thinking on a problem-solving critical level. Uh, I think the medical field always needs more people and I think a lot of these my my classmates agree that like we all have an interest in the medical field. To help students like Emily breathe a little easier <laughs> about their own futures in the world of medicine. I love my experience here. It's really great because I met a bunch of people that like have the same goals as me. In Lakewood. Bye everybody. Byron Reed, Nine News. Well, well, let's talk about the kids here at Beer Creek High School and they have a lot to do with the Project Lead the Way project that you were just talking about. So we're going to talk to Assistant Principal Jose Martinez who's joining us right now. Been setting this whole thing up for us this morning and I know Project Lead the Way is huge but you're also going to talk about some of the other activities that go on here at Bear Creek High. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. Good. Uh, yeah, we have lots of stuff here at Bear Creek. One of the reasons we really pride ourselves in just being an awesome school is that we have so many opportunities for our kids to get involved in whatever they get are into, whether that's music or art or our theater program, <laughs> school spirit. Um, really, we have something for everybody. And that can include, I mean, we even have video game clubs, 
We have our amazing sports programs. We have a great student senate. Like truly, it's I, I love coming to work every day. I've been here 13 years and I can't imagine leaving because it's just been so great. And I know the biomed program encourages kids to, you know, take on careers and jobs in, you know, science and math and technology. I mean, that is huge. It is. I mean, truly, like, as we think about getting our kids prepared for the future, we want to give them as many tools as they need to be successful and to really um, engage in the future and hopefully change the future for the better. And so we can't think of better ways than things like our biomed program to give them those skills and experiences so that they're ready to go for the future. Okay, and I have to ask you, uh, Mr. Martinez, I know you already told me, how difficult is it to get a crowd like this up at 5 a.m.? You know what, I thought it was gonna be really, really hard, but you know what the truth is, we we have dedicated kids that just love this school, and you know, we said we need you there at 5.15, and, and granted, we, we got them some burritos, like everybody loves some burritos, uh, but you know what, oh, that's all it took, and kids were coming through the door. I had kids here literally at 4.15 this morning, ready to be like, let's do this and get rowdy for nine news, and we're, we're very proud of our kids for sure. And I know we're going to be talking to some of the kids throughout the morning. Uh, we just uh, heard from Matt, one of the baseball players, for a few seconds. It's not hard to get them to talk. They love this school. Like you just said, school spirit is huge. We can see it just right now. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we've we really seen a blossoming over the last couple of years with all of our events, not just sporting events, though we do have crazy fans. I mean, we played Lakewood last week, and it was a great game, and we had like 150 fans at an away game. But even things like our theater productions, our unified sports, which are coming up here in a couple months with our uh, BC Stars here, like truly kids come out because they want to support the school that they love so much. Awesome, awesome. Mr. Martinez, thank you so much. We're going to be out here throughout the morning talking to you, and I probably will take you up on one of those burritos a little oh, later on. I got you. Don't <laughs> so, you guys, we're at Breaker High School. It is so much fun. The home of the Bears. You could just see how loud and how live this crowd is right now. They are so excited. We're going to be out here throughout the morning, but I do want to tell Corey and Gary who were a little bit confused about me being a tech expert, don't forget about my conversation with Marty about Santa Ana wins. I mean, mm -hmm. that that was a good conversation. I you, believe it was Santa Claus wins. You are the expert on Santa, <laughs> Santa Claus wins. You are, yes. <laughs> Saying that they were here, also not here. It's cool. We understand. Eddie, we do love All you. Right. Thank you much. <laughs> Thank we'll you. talk to you later. And to show off one of Colorado's really cool schools. <laughs> Nine News reporter Eddie Randall has his chucks on and he's <laughs> hanging out at Bear Creek this morning. Good morning. I do. I said I was coming out to a cool school, so I wanted to have on some cool shoes. I'll give a shout out to my mom, Jessica Randall, bought these for me for Christmas. But yeah, we are at Bear Creek High School. Look at all these students, guys. They are having such an amazing time this morning, showing us why their school is so cool. But you know, we're going to talk the, you know, we're going to talk about some of the activities that go on around here. And we know like the biomed program is really, really strong here. So we have Aspen and we have Nathan here and they're going to talk to us. Now you guys are officers. Talk to me about what HOSA is real quick. What does that mean? So HOSA stands for Health Occupational Students of America. I'm the secretary of HOSA and this is Nate. And then I'm the, I'm a vice president of the competition. So we go to state every year and we compete in events, so we have a variety of events that we like to pick, and we just choose one that interests you, and if it's your passion, then you can just follow through it, and hopefully just be able to go into college with that passion, and. Now the biomed program is huge, and I know like you, you said you've been doing this for four years, and it's actually something that you're gonna continue to do next year. Kind of tell me how the program here at Bear Creek has prepared you for your future. So I've been in Biomed for four years. So throughout my four years, I've done a whole bunch of hands-on kind of stuff. I've dissected cow eyes, sheep heart, kidneys. I've gone to two cadavers. I've just been exposed to so much medical you know, experience that I feel like when I go to college, I'll really have a head start and that I can really you know, use this knowledge to my advantage. And um, it'll just really help me in my medical career. So overall, like, I mean, that's a lot of medical stuff kind of over my head, but what is it that you want to do? Well, um, I've been accepted to CSU and I'm going to study biomedical sciences. So um, I don't know what kind of medical thing I'm going to go into yet, but what I know is that I'm going to do great because of the biomedical program and also HOSA. Because for HOSA, I've been, you know, I go to state and I compete in all these events that I feel really passionate about, like nutrition and, um, 
I'm sorry. You're great. <laughs> I'm just really passionate about this kind of stuff because awesome. you know I've been dreaming about this since I was a kid, and in high school I've you know I've just been exposed to so much of it already. And without this program, you know, these other schools, they don't offer any programs like this. We're the only school in Jeffco that offers HOSA and Biomed. And, and Nathan, really quick, you have a whole year left, but, you know, you're going to be in, involved in this also. Yes. Um, well, my passion is sports, so I really love sports, and I really want to do something in the medical field. So I'm really, so there's a sports medicine, and I just qualified this year, so I hope I'll place the state this year. But it's really my passion, and it's really what I want to do in college. Awesome. Hopefully, uh, be my career. Perfect. Thank you so much. Bear Creek High School, you guys. They are having so much fun this year, and we are not done. We're going to be talking to more students, more staff. I mean, we're just going to continue to let them show you why their school is so cool. So we'll send it back to you guys. We're just getting started this morning. We're just warming up. Man, the bears are bringing it this morning. Boy, aren't they, they ever. They got there so yeah. early. We were out here earlier this morning. We want to give you guys a taste of what it was like at five and six when the, the all the kids were out. Take a listen and look at this. You could just see how loud and how live this crowd is right now. They are so excited. Yeah, that's how live it was. So many students came out this morning and we're not talking about students from one organization. We're talking about from the band, from the choir, from several different organizations throughout the school just to show their school spirit and show us why Bear Creek High is so cool. So the senior field studies class is with me right now because a lot of those students you just saw in that video, they're all in classes right now getting those academics. So we're here with Jackson, Shannon and Kendall and they're going to talk to us about the senior field studies class. First of all, Jackson, you're a senior. All of you guys are seniors. Obviously, it's in the title. Tell me what this class is all about. Senior Field Studies is really just a class about experiencing the lessons and not just having them told to you. You know, uh, Tuesday we went to um, the Federal Center and we learned about the hydraulics of dams and how they research concrete to make them stronger. Uh, next week we're going to the grow house to learn about how they grow crops for us and it's it's an amazing experience so far and we're gonna live on a farm for a week and go whitewater rafting later it's it's really great that is awesome okay let's move over here and talk to Shannon Shannon I just heard it we just heard about the the whitewater rafting the farm what other field trips are coming up in, in this semester that just kind of prepares you for life um, so next month, actually, we are going to Arizona to the desert for about a week or so um, just to learn about like survival techniques and uh, survival. To yeah, basically. And then we're also going on a farm for a week. And then we uh, what else did we do? We went to the art museum and just so many different you know field trips I, I don't know just so much there's just so much I can't I even it's just so exciting just you know go out there and do things that we're most likely not going to do outside of high school and just the fact that we're still in high school and we get to do this it's just so much and it's so awesome and it's amazing awesome yeah. okay Kendall let's get to you really quick and I wanted to ask you how does this type of class prepare you for next year in the future yeah well instead of learning from a classroom setting where um, a lot of this information we can't really connect to we get to go out and experience and see what different careers are like and what it's like to work in different fields and it's it's just a really cool opportunity because a lot of high school, school students don't really get to do this kind of thing and so we really get to see what it's like out there in the world. That's awesome, awesome and thank you all so much for being out here with us this morning. It has been such a great morning here at Beer Creek High School. Gary, Corey, I do have to say these kids are obviously way younger than me. I asked them when they said they were going to live on a farm if they've ever heard of the show The Simple Life. Uh oh. <laughs> they, mm -hmm. had, they had no idea nope. what that was. Right yeah. over their head, I'm it's, sure. It's a generational thing. By the way, Eddie, have you ever heard yeah. of Green Acres? <laughs> I, I have. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. All right. You should have thrown it back just a little I'm bit just, more. Yeah, just, just wondering. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you much.